Welcome to RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now let's continue our lectures on Clyde and series. Today I'm going to discuss about uh, chapter 21, part 2. Okay, part 2 in chapter 21. So in previous class, I have to cover the basic uh, basic introduction of uh, chapter 21. That is nothing but uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Generally, aromatic compound that is nothing but a benzene. So benzene which is uh, treated with uh, any electrophile. This is the simplest representation. Okay, any electrophile. So then it forms the unstable intermediate, but it was stabilized by the delocalization. Delocalization. So then followed by the like loss of a proton, loss of a proton, and it substituted the electrophile. So finally it substituted the electrophile. This is the simplest mechanism for the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions on benzene. Okay. So in generally, today I'm going to discuss the Electrophile, different different electrophile. That is nothing but uh, uh, like a nitro group, a nitro electrophile, as well as sulfonation, sulfon uh, SO3H is electrophile. Again, uh, Friedel-Craft alkylation, alkyl group is electrophile. Acylation, acyl group is electrophile. So in this chapter, I have to cover so those four. That is nothing but nitration, sulfonation, as well as Friedel-Craft alkylation and uh, acylation. So while going to the, these kind of uh, reactions, so first of all, you should. Uh, confirms the electrophile so then follows the above mechanism okay that is the simplest aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction simply electrophilic substitution reactions ESR mechanism first of all we should confirm the electrophile so then proceeds through the ESR so first of all we are going to the first one that is nothing but a nitration reaction so that is the nitration Okay, so in this nitration, benzene treated with a concentrated HNO3, this is concentrated one, so again here also concentrated H2SO4, okay, so among these two, H2SO4 is more concentrated due to its resonating forms, that's why it is acidic in nature, this is the like slight basic in nature why because both the acids one is most acidic another one is less acidic okay so we use the powerful concentrated nitric acid as well as h2so4 finally we will get nitration product so that is nothing but a nitrobenzene so finally we will get the nitrobenzene so this is the simplest reaction okay so here the hydrogen was substituted by the nitro group that means the NO2 is the electrophile that is the confirmation of electrophile okay so how it is formed so the first one so the confirmation of electrophile now let's move on to the mechanism the first uh, electrophile confirmation so this is the nitro group minus why because uh, nitrogen getting the positive here it having the four bonds so oxygen getting the negative here loss of one bond okay so which is uh, treated with uh, our uh, concentrated sulfuric acid Okay, so now the H2SO4 is a strong acid, acidic in nature, that's why it provides the H plus ion to the nitric acid. Okay, that's why the OH from nitric acid will abstract the proton from sulfuric acid, then it becomes O minus, then it becomes O minus. Now here, N double bond O, O minus positive OH2 plus, OH2 plus. Why? Because OH is bad living group. OH2 plus is good living group. That's why here protonation takes place from nitrogen. Okay. So then these bonded, these negative charged oxygen electrons are shifted towards the nitrogen atom. So then here water is eliminated. So nitrogen double bond O. Here double bond negative charges forms the double bond. So again positive charges remains constant. Positive charges remains constant. This is the nitronium ion. This is the nitronium ion. So this is an intermediate, but sorry, this is an electrophile. So that electrophile treated with our uh, simple benzene ring. Okay, so here it is the electrophile, N double bond O, positive, um, here positive charge, simple one. Okay, so this arrow indicates the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the upside carbon atom. So that becomes a negative, that negative will attack the electrophile, then bottom one becomes a positive charge, simple one. N double bond O. Okay, whenever the bonded two electron will shift it towards the nitrogen atom, here already it is excess of counter. That's where one of the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the oxygen atom. 
and it becomes minus. Here it is the positive. It becomes minus and positive. So the bottom one, we have the loss of electron that indicates positive charge. So it forms the cationic intermediate. Cationic intermediate. We know that uh, the cationic intermediate was uh, stabilized by the its regaining of uh, their electro uh, their uh, aromaticity with the loss of a proton. With the loss of proton. So this is the NO2 group. Very simple mechanism. So this is the nitration process. Okay. So here, uh, nitro uh, like uh, HNO3 treated with H2SO4, which forms the nitronium ion. So that is the electrophile. That electrophile, which treated with uh, benzene, it produces the nitrobenzene. So that this is the nitration process. Now I'll give the simple statement. So aromatic compounds treated with concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2SO4, it produces aromatic and nitro compound, nitro aromatic compound. Simply, here HNO3 and H2SO4, while, while doing the reaction, some of the precautions are needed. Now I will tell you a small story, okay. So HNO3 and uh, H2SO4, so first of all we will take the like less acidic compounds, then we will add the, like uh, throughout the glass rod, we will add the drop wise uh, unconcentrated one, H2SO4. This is the simple methodology, okay, while doing the reaction, okay. Now I will tell this uh, a simple story. Well, uh, when I'm in my PG first semester, one of my benchmates, uh, uh, all, all of the batchmates are doing the nitration reactions. One of the, my ben benchmates did a mistake. Okay, what is that? Now uh, let's move on to the those topic. Okay. So we are doing the nitration reaction. So generally, nitration reaction heated on water bath. That is the statement. Okay. So uh, concentrated HNO3 firstly taken into the uh, our uh, uh, vessel okay then we will add the concentrated H2S4 why because this is more concentrated that's why it is added into a drop wise manner okay so after uh, adding the, those reaction mixture as well as uh, HNO3 and the H2S4 it was kept in on water bath it was kept into water bath so but uh, one of my friend uh, uh, they are mistakenly instead of keeping the water bath uh, they are flamed the, the those vessel uh, with a uh, like a test to be handle on Bunsen burner okay so within 30 to 40 seconds within 30 to 40 seconds uh, that will spill it on his face as well as uh, like a hair a top of the head also okay so then when whenever it spilled on his face that face becomes a swelled okay so the almost all uh, like uh, it swelled a lot so all are feared all are scared based on that okay so after two to three days it was uh, recovered he, he is recovered from those situations okay so that's why we use the uh, those those much of concentrated acids while we are doing the those reactions we are uh, uh, taking some risk okay we are uh, uh, we are take the some of the precautions that is better to handle those kind of uh, hard reactions okay this is a very simple story okay now let's move on to the second one that is nothing but sulfonation so a, a very simple re reaction mechanism so now the second one is Sulfonation. I think it is clear. Sulfonation. So here reagents are changed. Here we used only concentrated H2SO4 in pyridine solvents. Uh, generally we used only concentrated H2SO4 that's enough or SO3 in basic medium that is also better or, or SO3. This is an also an individual electrophile on sulfonation reaction. So here instead of a nitro group it forms the sulfonyl group it forms the SO3H okay aromatic compounds are treated with the concentrated H2SO4 it forms the like a benzene sulfonic acid that is aromatic sulfonic acids aromatic sulfonic acids okay now let's move on to the mechanism of those reaction also okay very simple one first of all we'll predict the like a uh, electrophile then after it follows the aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction so first one here it is the h2so4 oh here we use only h2so4 that indicates two moles of uh, uh, excess of quantity we will use so this is the h2so4 now the lone pairs of oxygen will abstract the proton from h2so4 and it becomes uh, o minus and it becomes o minus now here s double bond o s double bond o oh here oh2 plus OH2 plus is best leaving group. That's why the lone pairs of electrons from OH group on a sulfur attached atom. So then these bonded to electrons will shift it towards the sulfur atom. 
here OH2 plus is eliminated. So yes, double bond O, yes, double bond O, double bond OH plus. So this is the sulfonium ion intermediate, sulfonium ion electrophile. So this electrophile, which was treated with our uh, simple benzene, okay. So this is the electrophile as a double bond O, as a double bond O, as a double bond OH plus, okay. So then it is treated with it treated on sulfur. Then bond of two electrons will shift it towards the like oxonium ion and it becomes a OH group and it becomes OH group. So here S yes, double bond O, S yes, double bond O, OH. Now the bond of two electrons shifted towards the top atom, then it becomes a neutral. Okay, then bottom one becomes a positive. So it forms the cationic aroma, uh, cationic intermediate. So that cationic intermediate uh, regains the aromaticity with the loss of proton. And it produces the SO3H. SO3H. This is nothing but benzene sulfonic acid. Benzene sulfonic acid. This is the simplest mechanism of sulfonation. Simplest mechanism of sulfonation. I think it is very clear. Now, let's move on to the uh, some other reactions. That is the Friedel Craft alkylation and Friedel Craft acylation. I think it is clear. So benzene treated with uh, H2SO4, it produces the sulfonic acid. So not only H2SO4, we use the like a sulfonic, uh, like a sulfur tetroxide. This is also better reagent. So sulfur tetroxide in like a sodium hydroxide followed by the hydrolysis, we will get the as usual sulfonic acid or sodium salt or sodium salt of benzene sulfonic acid. Okay, so that is the possibility. Now let's move on to the third reaction. That is nothing but a benzene treated with alkylation or benzene undergoes the acylation. Okay, so simple one Friedel Craft reactions. Friedel Craft alkylation. Friedel Craft alkylation. Simple one here alkyl group is the electrophile, R plus is the electrophile. Now, generally, this is the benzene which is treated with either tertiary alcohols or tertiary chlorides in presence of Lewis acids. It produces an electrophile like tertiary butyl group. So, then it produces the alkylated benzene. Alkylated benzene. So, now let's move on to the simple mechanism. First of all, we will predict the like electrophile. So what is the electrophile? So generally here it is the water that is uh, sorry tertiary butyl alcohol. So that tertiary butyl alcohol in presence of uh, like any acid. So the, it, it absorbs the proton. Now here it produces the OH2 plus. The loss of o, H2O it gives the uh, like a tertiary carbocation. Tertiary carbocation. This is, that is the general way. But uh, usually in presence of yeah, Lewis acids, it was it, it gives more 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 that is more percentage of yield as well as uh, like a lesser the reaction time. So it is used as the catalyst that indicates here the lesser the time it is uh, predominantly used in the general organic synthesis of Friedel Craft alkylation. Okay, so now here it is the uh, like a tertiary vital chloride that was treated with AlCl3 Al having the vacant orbital that chlorine lone pairs attack over there. Then it forms the like a Cl, Al, Cl3. So aluminium getting the more more bonds due to the acceptance of extra bond. That's why it becomes a negative. Here chlorine becomes a positive. Chlorine becomes positive. So now here that chlorine atom that is chlorine ion atom. So that is eliminated as Al, Cl4, Al, Cl4 minus. As well, it forms the tertiary carbocation. Tertiary carbocation. So now whenever that tertiary carbocations, it is the general one in the presence of Lewis acid. This is the normal one in presence of alcohols. Okay, so now here, those uh, electrophiles which are treated with uh, aromatic rings, uh, then it, it undergoes the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Simple one tertiary butyl group. Now, here it is creating the positive charge. Okay, so that positive charge uh, regains the uh, like aromaticity with the loss of proton. So this is the tertiary butyl benzene. Tertiary butyl benzene. This is the third one. I think it is it is also clear. Now let's move on to the final one. Friedel Craft acylation. Friedel Craft acylation. Now let's move on to the final one. Now. 
I think it is clear. So benzene treated with uh, like a tertiary butyl chloride in presence of Lewis acids, it produces alkylated benzenes. That is the simple statement of Friedel-Craft alkylation. Friedel-Craft alkylation. So these are the two possibilities so to get the like our real profiles. So second one is preferential one. Second one is preferential. Now let's discuss the friedel craft acylation. friedel craft acylation. Now here it produces it produces acyl group RCOCl in presence of Lewis acid it produces like acetophenol simple the name of compound is acetophenol acylated benzenes acylated benzenes now let's move on to the mechanism RCOCl which is treated with Lewis acid so the lone pairs will attack the vacant orbital of aluminium and it forms the R C double bond O C L A L C L three. Aluminium gets negative, chlorine gets positive. Okay, so the chlorine group is ready to leave. That's why it 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 abstracts the aluminium. It abstracts the aluminium. Now, however, the lone pairs of oxygen atom will will it forms the carbon oxygen triple bond. Then it is eliminated. So now here. R C triple bond so positive charge on positive charge on oxygen that is nothing but a SI line, yeah. acyl cation sorry it is the acyl cation so that acyl cation will undergo the aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction so this is the positive charge then bonded to electrons will shift it towards the electrophilic center on acyl group then those triple bonded electron one of the one of the bond from triple bond it shifted towards the oxygen atom then it becomes negative negative positive is neutral negative positive is neutral now as usually so it forms the c double bond o r double bond double bond here it is the positive charge cationic intermediate so the final finally the cationic intermediate will aromatized in the presence of a losing of a proton so it produces acylated product it produces acylated product okay so now we'll take the r group then we will get the r if you take the methyl that is acetyl chloride so we we'll, finally we'll get the like uh, acetophenol acetophenol this is the final product of a uh, friedel craft acylation okay now in this class we have we have covered so that is nitration sulfonation Acyl, friedel craft alkylation as usually friedel craft alkylation now let's summarize all those topics in reaction mechanism manner reaction mechanism manner okay so here it is the general reaction aromatic compound electrophile it treated with a uh, electrophile it produces the cationic intermediate then finally we will get the aromatized electrophile aromatized electrophile let us take the a simple reaction diagram reactant energy versus uh, reaction coordinates reactant energy versus reaction coordinates okay now here it is the reactant energy. Let's imagine it is the reactant energy. So the reactant to cross over the energy barrier and stop over here. So that means here it is the intermediate. This is the cationic intermediate. Now here starting materials that is nothing but reactants. Okay. So once uh, it forms the intermediate then it readily forms the products uh, with the exocyclic manner. So this is the product. This is the product. Okay. So it follows the like an um, Exothermic reaction. It follows the exothermic reactions. It releases some energy. That is the simplest diagram. It may be asked in the like a CSIR question. So in the, uh, in recent years, uh, they are asked them. Uh, they are framed the questions like on reaction diagram also. Okay, those reaction diagrams uh, are copy and paste questions from Clayton textbook. That's why I mentioned the, these reaction diagram also. Okay. Now finally, let us summarize those uh, those ar aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions. Nitration. Sulfonation, Friedel Craft alkylation, Friedel Craft acylation. Okay, so now here the reagents are HNO3 plus H2SO4. 
so please careful about these two reagents both are strong that's why it is a it gives the hazard uh, result okay sulfonation h2so4 or so3 in basic medium h2so4 or so3 acylation alkyl halides sorry alkylation alkyl halides acylation acyl halides acyl halides or acid halides now finally we will get the nitro one benzene sulfonic acid alkylated benzene acylated benzene this is the a simple summary of the our second part a simple summary of the our second part that is nothing but electrophilic substitution reactions on benzene okay in next class uh, in next class i have to cover the those phenol uh, electrophilic substitution reactions okay Thank you so much for watching.